In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, as we gather in the presence of the Lord, as we begin this new day, first and foremost, let us thank the Lord for giving us this opportunity to spend this time with Him. Let us also thank the Lord for waking us up this morning, for giving us a good night's rest, for keeping us safe and sound, and most importantly, for giving us good health of peace and mind. But we see that many a times we are caught up with our own busy schedule. And because of this, we sometimes tend to forget or sometimes we don't see the presence of the Lord in our lives. The Lord works in our lives through various ways, through events, through people, through situations, etc. And therefore, sometimes it becomes difficult for us to understand what the Lord is trying to communicate to us. Sometimes we are so caught up with our busy schedule that we don't even thank the Lord for the small things that happen in our lives. But we see that these small things are very significant because they are all part of the larger picture. And therefore today, in a very special way, let us begin by thanking the Lord for various things that He has done for us, that He is doing for us and that He will continue to do in the future. First and foremost, let us thank the Lord for the gift of life. And therefore, Lord, we thank you for giving us our talents, abilities and various capacities through which we can grow and at the same time reach out to others and make a difference in their lives. At the same time, Lord, we also thank you for the gift of our family members, friends, relatives, near and dear ones and all those who play a very important role in our lives. We see that all these individuals have in some way or the other influenced us and we are who we are because of them. It has become an important aspect of our life and therefore we see that it is their hard work and dedication that has enabled us to grow in life. Lord, we also want to thank you for the opportunities that you have given us, opportunities to grow as well as opportunities to make a difference in the lives of others. Lord, we also thank you for the experiences that you have given us. On many occasions, there have been good experiences which we all remember and cherish. But there are also those experiences which are difficult. We also thank you, Lord, for those tough experiences which have taught us many things in life. These tough experiences have made us stronger and have helped us to learn things in life. And therefore, Lord, we also continue to pray for all those who have asked us to pray for them. And, and at this time in the morning offering, we also offer up their prayers, people whom we may know, those who may have asked us to pray for them. And let us close our eyes at this moment. And let us take this opportunity to thank the Lord. Let us praise the Lord for giving us good health, for keeping us in His love. We see that at every moment His gaze is on us. He loves us and therefore He is keeping a watch. He protects us at every step of the way. The Lord never abandons us. When we are in difficulties, when we are faced with challenges, it is He who helps us, who gives us the strength to overcome those challenges. And therefore, Lord, we thank you and praise you. And Lord, we ask you that whatever we may do today, you may remain with us. You may show us the way that our words, deeds and actions may in a way reflect your love, mercy and joy to the world around us. And therefore, my dear friends, let this day be a day of joy and blessings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
And in a way we see that today we shall reflect on Psalm 55. As usual we shall have a general overview of the Psalm and then we shall take a look at the Psalm in detail verse by verse. Now Psalm 55 we see is a Psalm of lament that is attributed to David and this Psalm expresses his distress and despair in the face of betrayal by a close friend. And in today's world we see that this is quite an emerging theme since everyone is becoming individualistic and because of the competitive nature of today's world betrayals are quite common and therefore those who have been through this experience will be able to relate to what David feels in this Psalm 55. Now the Psalm is structured in three parts. First part is a plea for God's help that is verses 1 to 8. Then you have a description of the situation that has caused the distress of David and this we find in verses 9 to 15. And finally we have a renewed plea for God's help and a declaration of trust in the God and this happens in verses 16 to 23 and therefore overall Psalm 55 expresses David's distress and this Psalm highlights the importance of turning to God in times of troubles and also expressing one's fear and anxieties to him. We know that the Lord is always there, he protects us, he guides us and therefore it is important for us to turn to him in times of difficulties, in moments of distress, tell him what is happening to us and he will be there to guide us and save us. And therefore the psalm also expresses hope and confidence that come from trusting God's faithfulness and justice even in the face of betrayal and deceit. And therefore let us take a look at this psalm in the three parts as we have mentioned earlier. Now in the first part of the psalm, David pleads for God's help in his distress and in verses 1 to 3, we see that David asks God to hear his prayer and not to ignore his cry for help. And therefore David expresses his fear and anguish. In verse 4, he says that his heart is in anguish within him and the terrors of death have fallen upon him. In verses 5 to 8, David then goes on to describe his desire to escape from his troubles, asking God to give him wings like a dove so that he can fly away and find rest. Moving on to the second part of the psalm, we see that David describes the situation that has caused this distress and the cause is the betrayal by a close friend. So in verses 9 to 11, David laments the treachery of his friend whom he has trusted and confided in. But we see that this friend of David has turned against him. And therefore in verses 12 to 15, David describes the violence and deceit of his enemies who have plotted against him and who have no fear of God. And therefore we see that in this second part when David describes the situation, I think those who have undergone such situations will be able to relate the anguish, the anxiety and the fear that one goes through in such situations. But we need to know that the Lord is with us, the Lord will be there to guide us and protect us. And finally moving on to the third part of the psalm, we see that David renews his plea for God's help and he expresses his trust in God. Now in verses 16 to 18, David calls upon God to save him and he expresses his confidence that God will surely hear his prayer. Now in verses 19 to 21, David asks God to bring judgment upon his enemies and he also expresses his confidence that God will do so because of their wickedness. And then we see in verses 22 to 23, David encourages himself to trust in God and to cast his burden upon him, knowing that God will sustain him and God will allow the righteous to be moved.
Therefore, we are called to have the same faith and trust in the Lord, the same hope and confidence because the Lord never abandons us. All we need to do is have faith, have hope and trust in the Lord and He will provide, He will guide us. And therefore, when we are faced in moments of difficulties, let us turn to the Lord. And now, my dear friends, let us spend a few moments in silence, allowing this psalm to take root in us. If you have been touched by some thought or some idea that we have seen in Psalm 55, feel free to ponder and reflect on those thoughts or on those lines. And allow the psalm to take root in you so that ultimately the psalm becomes part of you and you too are able to grow in trust and confidence in the Lord. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins for the intentions of all my relatives and friends and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Let us pray for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of July for the pastoral care of the sick. We pray that the sacrament of the anointing of the sick confer to those who receive it and their loved ones the power of the Lord and become evermore a visible sign of compassion and hope for all. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Act of Contrition O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of thy just punishments, but most of all, because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit 
and they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth lord by the light of the holy spirit you have taught the hearts of your faithful in the same spirit help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation we ask this through christ our lord amen prayer for priests gracious and loving god we thank you for the gift of our priests through them we experience your presence in the sacraments help our priests to be strong in their vocation set their souls on fire with love for your people grant them the wisdom understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus inspire them with the vision of your kingdom give them the words they need to spread the gospel allow them to experience joy in their ministry help them to become instruments of your divine grace we ask this through jesus christ who lives and reigns as our eternal priest amen the breastplate of saint patrick i arise today through a mighty strength the invocation of the trinity through a belief in the threeness through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation christ with me christ before me christ behind me christ in me christ beneath me christ above me christ on my right christ on my left Christ when I lie down Christ when I sit down Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me Christ in the eye that sees me Christ in the ear that hears me Amen The angel is the angel of the Lord declared to Mary and she conceived of the holy spirit Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Behold the handmaid of the Lord be it done to me according to thy word Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ let us pray pour forth we beseech thee o lord thy grace into our hearts that we 
to whom the incarnation of Christ thy son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our lord amen prayer for saint joseph's protection o saint joseph whose protection is so great so prompt so strong before the throne of god i place in you all my interests and desires o saint joseph do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine son all spiritual blessings through jesus christ our lord so that having engaged here below your heavenly power i may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers o saint joseph i never weary contemplating you and jesus asleep in your arms i dare not approach while he reposes near your heart press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when i draw my dying breath saint joseph patron of departing souls pray for me amen prayer of thanksgiving god of all blessings source of all life giver of all grace we thank you for the gift of life for the breath that sustains life for the food of this earth that nurtures life for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life we thank you for the mystery of creation for the beauty that the eye can see for the joy that the ear may hear for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves we thank you for setting us in communities for families who nurture our becoming for friends who love us by choice for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks for strangers who welcome us into their midst for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding for children who lighten our moments with delight for the unborn who offer us hope for the future we thank you for this day for life and one more day to love for opportunity and one more day to work for justice and peace for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved for your grace and one more experience of your presence for your promise to be with us to be our god and to give salvation for these and all blessings we give you thanks eternal loving god through jesus christ we pray amen 
prayer to the garden angel angel of god my guardian dear to whom god's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light and guard rule and guide amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen litany to mary the loreto litany lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us christ hear us christ graciously hear us god the father of heaven have mercy on us god the son redeemer of the world have mercy on us god the holy spirit have mercy on us holy trinity one god have mercy on us holy mary pray for us holy mother of god pray for us holy virgin of virgins pray for us mother of christ pray for us mother of the church pray for us mother of mercy pray for us mother of divine grace pray for us mother of hope pray for us mother most pure pray for us mother most chaste pray for us mother inviolate pray for us mother undefiled pray for us mother most amiable pray for us mother admirable pray for us mother of good counsel pray for us mother of our creator pray for us mother of our savior pray for us virgin most prudent pray for us virgin most venerable pray for us virgin most renowned pray for us virgin most powerful pray for us virgin most merciful pray for us virgin most faithful pray for us mirror of justice 
pray for us seat of wisdom pray for us cause of our joy pray for us spiritual vessel pray for us vessel of honor pray for us singular vessel of devotion pray for us mystical rose pray for us ta of david pray for us ta of ivory pray for us house of gold pray for us ark of the covenant pray for us gate of heaven pray for us morning star pray for us health of the sick pray for us refuge of sinners pray for us solace of migrants pray for us comfort of the afflicted pray for us help of christians pray for us queen of angels pray for us queen of patriarchs pray for us queen of prophets pray for us queen of apostles pray for us queen of martyrs pray for us queen of confessors pray for us queen of virgins pray for us queen of all saints pray for us queen conceived without original sin pray for us queen assumed into heaven pray for us queen of the most holy rosary pray for us queen of families pray for us queen of peace pray for us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray grant we beseech thee o lord god that we your servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed mary ever virgin may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through christ our lord amen pray to saint michael the archangel for protection saint michael the archangel defend us in battle be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly hosts by the power of god thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen act of adoration o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine saint gertrude prayer for souls in purgatory Eternal Father I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son Jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all 
the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen